Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another book recommendation video, so we're continuing my bookshelf tour that feels like it will never end. <laughs> Today we are going to talk about books on ancient Egypt, ancient Egyptian deities, ancient Egyptian mythology, and ancient Egyptian history and life. So I'm going to show you guys all the books that I have on ancient Egypt. So let's get into these books. So the first book that I am going to show you all is called Egyptian Mythology, A Guide to the Gods, Goddesses, and Traditions of Ancient Egypt. This book is just really great overall. It's got a lot of really, really useful and accurate information in it. If you are someone who's wanting to know all about ancient Egypt in general, this is a great book to get. Um, I personally feel that if you work with any ancient Egyptian deities, you need to understand ancient Egyptian life and ancient Egyptian history, ancient Egyptian geography. So that is the reason why I recommend this book, um, because it talks about the deities specifically for people who do work with ancient Egyptian gods and goddesses, but it also talks about the history, the geography, the society as a whole, um, what the people believed and what the people practiced. So this book is really great for understanding ancient Egypt as a whole. And if we're going to try to understand mythology, we need to understand the history of the time. So this book really highlights the history and tells the stories of the mythology and the deities of ancient Egypt through the history. And what I really love about this book is it does go so in depth about every single deity. Um, there's a section for each deity and that section highlights when we first see that deity show up in ancient Egyptian texts, it tells you all about the different temples that were constructed for that deity, the way ancient Egyptians worshipped that deity and honored that deity, what that deity represented, um, and how it connected to what was going on in Egypt. So this book really gives you a deep and thorough understanding of ancient Egyptian mythology and deities as well as history and geography and things like that. The next book is Awakening Osiris, the Egyptian Book of the Dead. This book is a translation of the Book of the Dead. Um, it is one of two that I have because this one is very specific. We'll make a whole video about this in the future just because I don't want to get too into it right now because it'll take up a lot of time. Um, but the Book of the Dead is a collection of funerary texts. Um, it's a very, very old document from ancient Egypt. It contains spells, um, instructions, um, rituals for dying. So the Book of the Dead is just information on dying in a lot of ways instructions for dying, um, instructions for what happens once you die, um, what you need to do as a soul that has passed on once you're in this other world. So this is one of the translations of the Book of the Dead. There are so many books. If you look up books that are translations of the Book of the Dead, you will find so, so many. Um, and it's really hard to figure out which ones are good and which ones are the right ones to buy. Um, and because the text of ancient Egypt is so old, um, all these translations are different. So that's why I have two different translations of the Book of the Dead. This is the first one. I personally really like this one because of the way it's formatted. This translation of the Book of the Dead is translated in much more of a story kind of way. Um, the book begins and it's separated into almost little paragraphs um, titled things like Greeting Ra, um, Awakening Osiris, um, all these things that are part of the Book of the Dead but are being translated in a way that an English speaker would understand. So this version of the translation of the Book of the Dead is much more poetic. Um, it's much more like you're reading a storybook. Um, versus we'll see when we get to the other version of the Book of the Dead that I have to show you guys, that one's very different. So this one offers a very specific perspective on the Book of the Dead and that's why I have it. Um, so if you're into translations of the Book of the Dead or you work with Osiris um, or you work with death in general and ancient Egypt, this book is great. So, so we don't have confusion, let's do the other book I have that's a translation of the Book of the Dead. 
This book is called The Egyptian Book of the Dead, The Book of Going Forth by Day. This book is big. <laughs> is big. It's strangely shaped. Um, it is probably my favorite book on ancient Egypt that I have. Um, this book is much more of a direct translation of the papyri. The other one is a little bit more flowery. They made it a little bit more um, approachable, I guess. And this one is just a straight up translation. So when you look, so when you look at the pages of this book, you'll see that on the top, it has the actual ancient Egyptian text. And then below is the English. So on each page, you'll see that the hieroglyphs are on the top and then the English words are on the bottom. So it's very direct and it's very easy to understand in that they have everything labeled, everything is organized really well. And there are a lot of really beautiful, powerful spells in this book. Um, the Book of the Dead is, in my opinion, one of the most potent texts that has ever been written. Um, when you read it, you just feel the energy of it and you feel the strength and the power behind it. You feel the truth of it as you read it, um, especially if you speak it out loud. You really feel the truth of it then. Um, and anyone who does death work, which, you know, I do a lot of death work. <laughs> Um, death has consumed my life in a lot of ways, so I work a lot with death. And this translation of the Book of the Dead is, in my opinion, the best one I've ever seen. It's really beautifully, really beautifully done and easy to understand, but also not dumbing it down. So if you're interested in the Book of the Dead, I would say this one is a must have. The other one is kind of an optional one in my opinion, and this one is really, really great. The next book is Sekhmet, Transformation in the Belly of the Goddess. This book is all about the cat goddess Sekhmet. So if you work with Sekhmet, this is a great book to have. If you're interested in working with Sekhmet, this is a great book to get you started on learning about her. Um, she's right there. Um, this book is all about her, um, talks about her history, talks about this author's unique experience with Sekhmet, um, and it also talks about worshipping her, um, working with her, how ancient Egyptians worked with her, and how you can work with her now. And it's filled with lots of beautiful photos of ancient Egyptian temples that were dedicated to Sekhmet, um, and it just has all the information you'll need about this powerful goddess. So if you're interested in Sekhmet, I would say this book is a great purchase. The next book I have is The Complete Gods and Goddesses of Ancient Egypt. This book is exactly what it says it is. It just goes through every single deity that is mentioned in ancient Egyptian life and explains them completely. Explains their history, explains their um, attributes and their skills and their abilities. It talks about how ancient Egyptians would work with them. Um, and it's got some markers in it because I was just using it the other day. Um, but this book is really, really great for anyone that works with ancient Egyptian deities um, or just has interest in learning about different deities in different cultures. Um, this book does a really great job of focusing on each deity and giving you all the information that you would need about that deity. Um, it also tells the stories of the deities. Not every story is in here because there are a lot of stories about ancient Egyptian deities, um, but usually when you look up a deity in this book, you'll see a few different stories about that deity, the history of that deity, the mythology of that deity. It gives you a lot of information in that way. And the way this book is set up is really great because when you look up a deity, you'll see within it, it's broken down into sections like iconography, worship, mythology. Um, so it's very easy to understand and look up what you're looking for. The next and last book I have to share with you guys is called Silent Images, Women in Pharaonic Egypt. I got this book actually, um, and this is another big one, kind of similar to that Book of the Dead. It's a little bit shorter, but it's still pretty big. Um, 
I got this book at the King Tut exhibition when it was here in California at the Science Center. Um, I went a couple times actually, <laughs> but um, this book was in the gift shop and I immediately fell in love with it. So it's all about women in ancient Egypt. It's about the deities, the female deities, but it's also about the women who lived in ancient Egypt, um, how women were treated in ancient Egyptian society. And it also talks about the female pharaohs that there were in ancient Egypt. There weren't that many. I really like this book because, you know, there's a lot of, there are a lot of books on ancient Egypt. There was a lot of discussion about ancient Egypt. There's a lot to learn and a lot to study and a lot to wonder about. Um, but I like that this book focuses specifically on the women. You know, there were only a couple female pharaohs in ancient Egypt and the way we remember them is pretty inaccurate. Um, kind of all we remember about Cleopatra is that she was beautiful. Um, and we don't really, as a society, remember anything about Hatshepsut. So I really love this book for that reason, um, clearing up misinformation about female pharaohs like Hatshepsut, because, you know, Hatshepsut was largely erased from ancient Egyptian history after her death. Um, and Cleopatra, there has been a lot of misogyny surrounding her story and surrounding the way we view her. Like, I think when most people think of Cleopatra, the first thing they think of is, oh, she was a beautiful woman, which is complete and utter bullshit. So I really like this book because it's kind of like a feminist view of ancient Egypt. So if you're into that, check this book out for sure. So those are all the books I have on ancient Egypt and ancient Egyptian deities. Um, I hope you pick some of these up and I hope that you enjoy them and they help you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Blessed be.